Welcome to the Miami Heat Zone Podcast. I'm your host, Martel Llewellyn. We're pushing the 5,000 subscribers. Hit the subscribe button and thank you for all the support. So if there was a real market for Trey Young, he'd be somewhere else right now. If the Spurs wanted Trey Young, they easily could have gotten him. ESPN's Tim McCann on Trey Young's trade value around the NBA. The real question is, what is his trade value? Now, I know a lot of people were saying they don't want Trey Young on the Miami Heat, but I definitely think that's something the Miami Heat have to look forward to, especially going into the future. Bam at a bow, he's going to need some type of an elite guard next to him. Whether if that's De'Aaron Fox, obviously we missed out on Donovan Mitchell and Damian Lillard, but guys like Trey Young who are averaging 25 and 10 assists, that's phenomenal. You need somebody that's going to be able to get Bam in the right spots, get him going. Guys like Khalil Ware, you need a floor general. I know that this whole NBA is really focused on scoring, but we also need playmakers. We also need guys who can score the basketball uh, shoot threes at a very high clip and just be a versatile scorer. I'm not saying the Miami Heat are going to trade for Trey Young. I'm just saying we need to look into this because especially around the trade deadline, what is this team going to look like? Are we going to be a team that's by the seventh or eighth seed? How is uh, Tyler Hero going to look like? You know, how is all these pieces that we have going into next season going to work? So I think definitely around the trade deadline, look for the Miami Heat to make some type of move because. If we're not going to be able to be competitive, we have to be able to pivot. This scenario all comes down to Bam Adebayo. He is the future of this Miami Heat organization. And every single move that we make going forward should be focused around Bam Adebayo. Because Terry Rozier, Tyler Hero, Jimmy Butler, Bam Adebayo, how is Eric Spolster going to make this work? And if it's not working by the trade deadline, I definitely think that Trey Young would be someone that's great in terms of his age and his abilities to pair next to Bam Adebayo going into the future. Let me know what you guys think in the comments. Like, share, comment, subscribe as we continue to push to 5,000 subscribers.